Hello and welcome to the March Dairy Market Update. Great Britain's milk production has been running high over the winter and in this video we will be looking at what factors have driven that production and whether we can expect it to continue. Milk production in December was the highest for 23 years and provisional figures for January looked like they'll set a similar record. This increase in milk hasn't come from an increase in the number of cows. Overall, the herd size has reduced due to a lower retention rate of animals and also due to insemination decisions. However, milk yields have more than compensated for this reduction in herd size. During the summer months of 2018, Yields were supported by farmers needing to use a higher proportion of bought-in feed to supplement low forage levels. This higher level of concentrated feed per cow can be seen in Promar Milkminder data. Whilst this feeding approach has boosted milk yields, it has been driven by necessity and the approach is expected to hit farmers' profitability levels, which could have a knock-on impact on milk volume sometime in the future. So. Can we expect this trend of high production to continue? Historical data shows us that there is a correlation between the year-on-year -year change in yields in the last quarter of one year and the first quarter of the next. This means that as October to December yields were high, it is likely that they'll remain high for January to March, which will keep supporting production. Looking further ahead, however, there was no correlation between yield growth in the last quarter of one year and in the second quarter of the next. Instead, spring weather and grazing conditions will be the main factors affecting yields for April to June. AHDB has identified three potential scenarios for how milk production could pan out over the coming year. The resultant milk production forecasts, as well as a projection for butterfat and protein levels, are available in the Milk Forecasting Forum information pack, which there is a link to in the description of this video. To keep up with how the dairy markets are developing, both here and globally, please visit the markets section of the AHDB Dairy website.